welcome back to my channel and today we are doing my first ever project pan conscious effort of using up things for the year of 2018. I think that there is some great satisfaction in actually using up a product because I don't know about you guys, but I'm continuously buying more blush, more highlighters, more eyeshadow palettes, not so much on the face powder, other things, but certain things I keep buying more and I keep using different ones. So concentrating on one and using it up kind of doesn't happen. I have been seeing a lot of people doing using up 18 in 2018. I have 15 products, some of which are like duplicates of it. You, you'll see, you'll see when we, when we get to it. But these are things that like I have either already made a big dip in or they're products that I use on the regular that I can hopefully with a certain amount of confidence feel that I can get through it. So let's just get into that. Obviously, I will have like probably every three months or so within the year kind of do follow ups to show you guys the progression I have made vent any frustrations that I have. You guys know how it goes. Let's just talk about what I want to use up in 2018. Now, one thing that I really like about project panning is back in the day, it used to be like just for panning, you know, like a, you know, hitting pan on a powder product, but project panning now is kind of a just all encompassing inclusive about using up a product. So first things first is the Alme Smart Shade Primer. You guys know this is a holy grail of mine. I do not have any um, concerns about using this up in 2018. I'll probably use this up and another one up. We do have this one right here. And then a face product is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I am coming up pretty i mean you can see how ganky and nasty that is we're getting pretty close on this so i want to use this up and i have made it where until i use up a foundation i will not buy another foundation then also in the foundation realm we have two of these covergirl ready set gorgeous fresh complexion foundations this, for the longest time, was my Holy Grail drugstore foundation. I am cruelty-free now. This is not cruelty-free, so I need to use these up and remove them from my collection. And then a, another foundation, which is also a non-cruelty-free Holy Grail, is the L'Oreal Paris Visible Lift Serum Absolute Foundation. You can see by how janky mine is. I just absolutely love this. The color, the finish, it is absolutely beautiful, but I need to use it up and get it out of my collection. Then we have two kind of, I don't want to say random, but one is the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Primer. This is my Holy Grail Eyeshadow Primer. Got to get through this and maybe another one, but we'll see. Then a concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I have mine in the shade Fair Neutral. I absolutely love this concealer. It is my favorite. It brightens. It goes on so beautifully. I am wearing it today and it just looks so good. But I got to get through this so I can buy myself another one so I can justify buying myself another one. Two products that I put in here because I use them every time I do my makeup. I'm not sure how, if I'm gonna be able to get through these in 2018 because I've been using them consistently for a while and I feel like there's still a crap ton of product, but I do want to use them up as much as I can because they are getting a little dry. And these are the Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brows. This one, I don't know what shade this one is. This one's kind of dying. The cap cracked and then the shade on the bottom is gone. But this is like a eh, light brown one. And then this one is the granite shade. And I have used a fair amount of these. Like it doesn't look like I have, but 
I have. I dig through these every single time I do my makeup and I just want to like make more of a dent before I buy myself new ones of these, which I may or may not because Kat Von D is coming out with her brow products. Two powders that I want to try and really kick out are like two of my absolute favorite powders. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I don't know if you can see, but I do have a very nice dip going on in here. I've been using this powder quite a lot and I really, really like it. So I think that I can work hard on using that up. Another powder that I am going to try to use up but will not replace afterwards because it's not cruelty free is the Japanesque Velvet Touch Finishing Powder in the shade 01. I have made a less significant dip in this one, but we're still we're still powdering away. I mean, unless you use a product every day, I feel like it's kind of hard to get through it because you're switching between different things and yada 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 but we're gonna try to get through that as well I only got one highlighter because honestly I have so many highlighters it's just no there's not gonna be one where I'm gonna be like yes I'm gonna pan that but I do have the Kat Von D metal crush shadow in thunderstruck you guys have heard me talk about this 50 billion times before it fell and shattered all over the place. There was a significant dip going in this product. That might have been why it shattered or because it's just so blink and soft. But I am going to work on panning this. I use it as a face highlight, inner corner highlight, eyeshadow. I use this for so many different things. And we're just going to see if we can't use that bad boy up. And then I have two eyeshadow palettes. The first one was the, honestly, when I was thinking about doing Project Pan, I knew that this was going to be the one. This is the Lorac Pro Palette 1. I have a huge dip in sable, mauve, taupe, and white. Don't have too many going on in the shimmers. I'm going to try to at least pan some of these mattes because I do use these a lot when I'm doing my vampire and undead looks and very alternative when I do cosplay and I really need to like shape my eyes and make them pop I will use this a huge amount so we are going to try real hard to pan this and then if we do a significant amount I might reward myself with a nice new one but we'll definitely just have to see how this goes because panning an eyeshadow palette is like it's like stressful because I want to use different eyeshadow palettes every day and when you're like working really hard to pan something you're using just that and it can get kind of monotonous but to break up some of that monotony I'm going to pan another eyeshadow palette or try to and believe it or not that is going to be the vice oh I think this is the third or the fourth one I can't remember, but I pulled this out today and I, it's actually what I am using on my eyes today. And I have a big dip in these four shades right here. I have a dip going in this green and this blue shade in this highlight shade and this one. And I was just thinking, I'm like, you know, this has got a lot of fun colors. This will kind of inspire me and push me to do a lot more colorful looks on my channel in 2018. And I also wanted to, I have such a like hesitation. I don't want to pan limited edition products because you know, I'm like, I don't want to run out of it, but I kind of want to get past that fear of running out of it. Makeup doesn't last forever. What's the point in having it sit in my collection and not get used when I love it so much? So I'm going to try to get past the fear, trepidation of panning limited edition products, and we're going to try and pan this and hopefully break that of me break me of that habit break me off a piece of that kit kat bar so those are all the products that i'm going to be working very hard on panning this year let me know down below if you are going to be trying to use up or pan anything in 2018 i will obviously be doing a follow-up in let me see here probably around three months i'm gonna do like three yeah because that'll be three follow-ups in the whole year 
and we'll see how it is by the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and as always, keep it real. Mwah!